So here in this page we have another IC, a big IC. Okay, this is the bigger IC in every motherboard. Of course, a power management IC. So this is U1018. This is a CPU power management. Okay, this is its reference always the max IT770 or the maximum IT770. 8770 is the CPU power management IC. Okay, so I will show you this IC in the motherboard. So, as you can see here, so we have here U1018, U1018, as you can see, the same reference as here. We have here U1018. Okay, U1018. Okay, so this is a max as you can see here in the schematic. We have max 8770. So let's check, let's check the IC. So, as, as you see. We have max 87, 70, okay? Max 87, 70, okay? So this is the CPU power management IC. So for this IC, as you can see here, always for the CPU, we have one channel or more. So this is the first channel here. Okay, and here we have the second channel. So I will show you the whole schematic or the whole circuit. So as you can see here, okay. So this is the power management IC. Okay, and here we have two channels. This is the first channel. We will get finally VCC call. And this is the second channel that will work to get the same voltage plus VCC call, okay? So this is the master or the first channel and this is the slave channel. The same working principle. Always we have the power management IC, we have the lower MOSFET that is connected to plus V battery, okay, 19 volt. Okay, so when this 19 volt is present here, we have here the gates, the control signal for this gate will comes from here as you see we have here drive high one okay drive low one and we have the lower MOSFETs we have here two MOSFETs as you can see so here we have a coil L19 and we will get here the VCC car okay for the second channel, the same working principle. We have here three voltages. We have coil and we will get plus VCC core for the CPU. So let's see the pin configuration of the power management IC for the CPU. So as you can see here, we have the VCC core. So plus VCC for the CPU is always 19 volt okay so here this is a very important signal as you see we have here seven signal or seven ids as you can see here this is ids vid zero means voltage id zero one two through six means seven ids so what is the purpose of this ids this ids is the tanks that determine the value of VCC core. So each CPU has its own or its special IDs. For example, let's assume that we have a CPU, Intel CPU. The working power for the Intel CPU, for example, is one volt. So the VCC core, for example, for Intel CPU is one volt, but for AMD processor, 
it need 1.2 volt so the power management IC can now the requirements of any CPU based on this IDs so for every CPU it has its special IDs okay because the power of CPUs is not the same there are CPUs that can be powered with 0.8 volts others with 0.9 volts others with 1.1 others with 1.2 etc so this IDs is the the signals that determine the value or the required voltage or required VCCP core for each CPU. Okay, so for the CPU, as we have seen here, this is the first channel, and here we have here the second channel. So for the CPU, generally, you will find two channels or more every CPU has two channels or more you know what because the CPU is always in work so it needs always the power so if it has just one channel the component of this channel can damage it easily so to release the head of the processor and its components that compose its channels the manufacturer use many channels for the CPU about two channels or more if the first channel work the second channel is in rest stop working and if the second channel work the first channel stop working and vice versa okay